I thought I would make a quick video here at the end to show the guitar sound that I had for this particular song. Uh, I used something very unconventional, a very unconventional setup for this. I did use a Joyo cab box going into my board uh, on the front end, not to the back end, and used it sort of like a, well, sort of like, I guess, a tonal shaper. And uh, so I have a 57 twin cabinet set up here, and I could I guess maybe later share the settings that I had there. But I was running first of all into that, into the board. I was going into a uh, this silver Klon clone that I have here. I was going into a Joyo American, then going out to a Strymon Iridium that is set for the round sound. Uh, it's a Fender sound, and I use Cab C. You can see the settings that I had there. So strange setup: cab box to the Klon. Usually you wouldn't do it that way at all. Over here, it, it just sounded good. It sounded good and it was low noise. And then, then to the Fender American, those settings here. 
then over into a um, Hall of Fame reverb and also the flashback delay. Actually, I guess flashback delay first and then the reverb and then out to the L12 into these two channels over here. And so I recorded that. I recorded a reference track that was coming off of the uh, off of the video up here that I'd done. The backing track was done in Band in a Box and I actually mixed it live. I might do a video that shows how you do that. I didn't go out from Band in a Box at all. I just actually used Camtasia and previously recorded, it's rendering now, this one is, but I uh, previously recorded through Camtasia a screen capture of Band in a Box and recorded the high quality wave and turned various instruments on and off, turned the drums off and the bass off in the beginning where it was just a piano and a guitar, I think. Then let the bass come in and let the drums come in uh, using the mixer that's on band box. If you actually want to watch what goes on over here, you'll see me, uh, I left it in the video, you'll see me turning stuff on and off there manually. So I recorded the background video first and then I sat and played guitar to it using Camtasia. did a second round of Camtasia recording a quick time screen capture of the video and then using the, the, the camera on my Mac to shoot myself playing guitar. It was not a perfect performance, but it was something fun. It was just me tracking an idea. So I missed a few notes here and there, but this is something I'll go back to and uh, work into a song. Is this a jam more than anything? Uh, the song is Remember to Forget. And so it will be kind of a cool little country-ish song that you'll hear at some point. I should also talk about the guitar that I'm playing. This is my uh, Made in Mexico Strat, uh, just a standard Stratocaster. And this is what I call the Heap and Helping Strat uh, that I bought at, I guess, Max Larry's Musical Madness, Max's Musical Madness, something like that up in Granite Falls, up in uh, Caldwell County. I played 20 Strats that day. American ones and everything. This is the one that sounded the best. This is the one that stole my heart. Still my number one strat when I go to play and want to do something uh, really melodic. I played all the Heap and Helping demos. If you want to do a search on my channel for Heap and Helping, you'll hear this guitar on almost everything. And it's just been one of the best recording strats that I've ever had. That's how it was done, folks. That was the setup. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.